Has this ever happened to you? Getting out all the supplies to wash your car is such a pain. No one wants to do it. Until now. This hose reel retracts automatically and always ready to go. Quick and simple, easy to use. This pressure washer mounted to the wall is right at arm's length all the time. Perfect for washing your car. So this is my new setup. It works and it looks amazing. I love this. This setup is from Giraffe Tools. This is a pressure washer and then this is a hose reel. This is a Giraffe Tools hose reel. I gotta get a magnet to hold this back or uh, I might just put a shelf to hold this in place. But this is a hose reel that always has water attached to it. Same thing with the pressure washer. You just turn the switch and you just pull the cord. The coolest thing about it is, see this gearing here? As you pull this out, this tracks back and forth, so you always get a nice, neat uh, row of your hose. Same thing down here. It's always gonna be nice and neat. The cool thing about this hose reel here is you can lift up on this, and this will, well, once you unhook it, you can detach it so that if this is outside, you don't have to leave it outside and has, possibly have someone steal it. My setup here in the garage is a little different. Actually, it's gonna probably be different for every person but I wanted mine right by the door here because I do a lot of washing cars out here because I wrap cars here. I wanted to always have some pressure here to wash some cars and to, uh, or just get the hose out because this house, I did not design this and the hose bibs are on the other side of the house and on the back of the house. There's not, they're not by the garage. So you always have to fight with the hose like you saw in the infomercial in the beginning. Let me show you what I did and give you some ideas how you might run this because these aren't very expensive and you can put these in your garage. I mean, I'm already making an awesome Tesla garage, although it's kind of dirty right now, but might as well make the best car washing area as well. Let's start from the water source. Oh, and by the way, I lost the footage of me installing it. That's why I'm gonna show you what it's afterwards. But again, it's gonna be like everything else. Uh, follow the directions. It mounts to the wall with the pressure washer mounts with a plate and you just set it right on there and the hose reel mounts to some studs and it comes with a bracket super easy to do anybody can install it i think uh, it's just a matter of where you have water and this is where the tricky part is so in my garage i have a a slop sink or a wash tub that's what people call it down below i actually just took took some tees off of the the water shutoff valves and then ran PEX tubing up to shutoff valves here. So yes, I have hot water and cold water. The cold water is on all the time, or I can shut it off here. The hot water is gonna be great for the winter time, or if I have a wrap that needs to come off in the winter time, I, I wanna use hot water to you know, really soften up that glue so I can turn this on, this is off. So I have pressure going up to one line all the way over the garage, all PEX tubing, and then it pops through the wall. On this side, it pops back through, and I have another shutoff, more really more for convenience over here, or if I notice a leak, I could just turn, turn this off and then there's no pressure. This comes down to a T, and I have pressure in this always. This comes down here to another T, and I have, I actually used the hose that came with this, I just cut it and used the PEX tubing, or the PEX uh, connections. Even used the fittings and everything, I just cut it in half and attached everything in the middle. Thought that was cool. And then I continue down to a bucket filler. And I may, I may end up putting a nozzle down to here so it can fill up here. And this is really nice because this fills up slowly. I don't have to sit here with a hose and try to fill that up and I could just let that go, start washing the car or whatever. And everything is right here, super easy to use and put away neat and tidy. So obviously the pressure washer has to come with a handle. Um, this is actually a pretty decent handle, especially for a driveway. You know, you want to spray low, uh, get a lot of pressure, and that's what these nozzles are for. 2000 PSI, different patterns, uh, and it's attached right to that, which is kind of cool. The part I don't like is it attaches in front. So it kind of makes it a little weird, especially for a car. The main thing for washing a car is 2000 PSI is way too much for a car. So I ended up getting a new nozzle and new gun that attaches to the bottom. So when you spray, it's down at the bottom, it's a little bit more ergonomical, um, but also it swivels too. So you're not fighting the cord, but this is a 3.0 nozzle, which lowers the PSI because it puts out a lot more water. You're gonna 
uh, knock this down to a thousand psi which is perfect for a car especially with a wrap on it uh, and all you have to do is change out the nozzles so i could put this nozzle onto here if i wanted to you don't have to buy the handle or anything but uh, i think it's a little bit cleaner and easier to use it's not so big this makes it so much easier to wash cars put stuff away you don't have a hose like over here you have to figure out what to do with that you need something to put the hose into and those cheap plastic hose reels that you buy at Lowe's or uh, Home Depot, they end up breaking, or, or more so the fitting that you put the water to will leak. It will, it'll last like one season, and those are expensive. Those are like $50, $60. So you figure this hose reel is going to last a long time because there's really no pressure on any fittings, plus it's not moving anywhere. This is going to last a very long time, and it's going to save me money in the long run, especially convenience too. The pressure washer up there is really all about convenience. It is a great luxury and it's under $300 right now. And that's pretty good for a, a pressure washer with those specs and the, the capabilities of this. Now, if I wanted to, I can unhook this here and then just lift this up and move this to the back of the house if I wanted to use it and to like pressure wash on my deck or anything like that. But it's a hundred foot hose. I can do my whole driveway. I can get out into the street even and wash someone's car out there if I had to. Um, absolutely love it. Giraffe tools, awesome. Let me show you in action. Might as well wash the car while it's out there. I got all the stuff ready. One more thing I forgot. This obviously uses power. So I actually have an outlet right up top there that I put in because I'm going to put in a garage door opener. It goes right there, just like this one here. So make sure you measure before you hang this up on the wall. The, my cord is just a little too short and I'm using a power strip. Uh, you kind of want to make sure you, you have the right length. Um, so yeah, just measure twice, cut once, I guess. The only thing I don't like about the pressure washer is they used to send out a foam cannon. Now, and this is not a foam cannon whatsoever. This is a soap dispenser. And if really all you want to do is put soap on the car, this works just fine. It just attaches. You fill that with soap and then you just spray it on there, but it just runs right off. Not a foam cannon. A foam cannon puts a thick layer of foam on there that loosens up the dirt and pulls it down the car slowly. This will just drain right off. This is just a cheap foam cannon that I got on Amazon. I think it was only like $16. This does a way better job than that. And it's a bigger dispenser, so you put a lot in here. And it, really, just let me show you what you can do with a foam cannon. I wish they would go back to a foam cannon with this, but they do have a spot that you can store it behind it. Same thing with the handle that stores behind it and nice and, t nice and tidy. But let's fill this up with some liquid and uh, let's coat the car. So now I just need to dry the car. But the cool thing is with the lower pressure, this vinyl is sitting on top of, well, other vinyl or PPF, uh, which I don't really like because you see it seeping into here. This is a carbon fiber PPF. I got new stuff I'm gonna try out. But this is ceramic coated and I put these stripes over top of it and it still did not pull away the vinyl sitting on ceramic coat, sitting on top of a ceramic coating on top of vinyl. So that's really good because you don't want to damage your paint with a high pressure. 2000 PSI is way too much for a car, but a thousand is really good for vinyl. A lot of people ask me that. So even if you have a pressure washer, get a smaller nozzle, 3.0 nozzle. I'll have a link down below for one that works really well. And uh, that way you don't damage your car. Now I just got to dry it off. Whew, a little sweaty from washing the car, but I want to thank Giraffe Tools for sending these out for a video. These were free. Sent, they, these were sent to me for free. Well, not really for free because I do have to put a lot of work into installing these, filming that, even though I lost the footage, sorry. 
but I, showing you how to do it and giving you ideas what to do to your garage to make it look amazing and very good quality, but at a reasonable price. There's a link down below through Amazon, you can get them, and there's many different options as far as these. So if you don't need a 100 foot hose, you can get a little smaller. There's a lot of different options that they make. I'll have their website down below and links to uh, pick up what I have on Amazon as well. So I like it. It makes washing the car a lot easier, and you don't have this hose everywhere because no one likes fumbling around with the hose. So. Thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.